I'm giving you these tools because I'd like you to have this because I'd like you to navigate the world rather than from being pulled over here and pulled over here and avoiding people and avoiding things and defending against people's judgments and such. I'd like you to be able to be present with anything and anyone. Because as I was saying, every judgment you're willing to receive and not reject, you make $5,000 more that year. Now, some of you, when I said the word money and $5,000 already went into judgment. Why? Because you have the point of view that money is a bad thing. I used to also. Two things I'd like to talk to you about with regard to the money thing. Can you change the world more with money or without money? With. Yep, you can contribute to people. You can do things. You can, you know, uh, send kids to school that might need it. You can give people things that will make their world better and change, um, which is personally how I do Christmas presents. I find people where contributing some money or presents to them would truly change their life, and that's where I put my money and my energy. And you can feel the whole world expand, which expands the world and my world, okay? That's us. That's the generosity of us. Anytime we're doing judgment, we're not being the generosity of us. So first thing, can you change the world more with money or without? With. And also, what if the purpose of money is to change people's realities? I had a conversation with my friend Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, when I first started Access 22 years ago. And one of my big issues was money. Because from my family, I learned that money is a big issue. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm sure none of you learned that from your families. <laughs> Let's do this to try to knock a brick out of the wall. Everything, you've been, uh, everything you aligned and agreed with and resisted and reacted to and everything you've been holding on to that you learned from your family that money is a big issue, not an easy thing to create. Will you rescind, revoke, recant, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy and create everything you aligned and agreed with and resisted and reacted to and are avoiding and defending? Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. So, for every judgment you're willing to receive, somebody, what is receiving? Somebody goes, you're a jerk, and you go, oh, thank you. Receiving is lower the walls and barriers and let it through. Receiving is not taking it in and locking it in, okay? How many energies have you been refusing? Putting up walls and barriers because it's like, oh, that's a big, bad energy, that's terrible. They don't like me, it feels so bad. Let me put up walls and keep it out. Here's the problem with putting up a wall, my friends. The wall does not know to let in money, let in love, let in joy, let in kindness, let in creativity, let in space, let in Earth's energy, let in your body's joy. It keeps everything out. So when we erect walls, we keep everything out, and it's amazing that anything can get in. Almost every problem you might be having in your life can be remedied by starting to tear down the walls that keep you separate. Because you, my friend, are an infinite being. You are not only the drop, but you are also the ocean. And when you put up the walls, you try to keep your drop separate from the ocean. Would you consider the possibility of letting down the walls? Perhaps more than you ever have before. Now, you can re-erect them you, I'm just asking you to let them down for a little bit, see what it's like. See what it's like actually to interact with the world and no longer be separate and alone. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. This is just a choice on the one hand. It's an experience on the other, and it's a journey also, a dynamic journey if we choose to go on it. But that's where you get to be you is that space where you have no separation between you and the rest of the world because you don't require it. Because you don't require it. A space of being where you have no separation between you and the world because you don't require it in order to have you. Where you walk through the world and rather than being feeling like you're getting the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune and you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go and it feels like every day you feel like you get less and less and more stressed and more tired. What I'm talking about is walking through the world and no longer requiring the walls and barriers. Actually walking through the world and going, wow, no matter what your point of view is, no matter what your point of view is, no matter what your judgment is, I'm okay. I got me. And actually having the gratitude for having you having the joy of having you. Now, some of you are getting really friggin' relaxed. <laughs> some of you want to call that tired. Your eyes are like, is he still talking? What is happening? Okay, just ask, is that relaxation? 
Because part of what I'm doing with this is inviting you to a space of this being that I'm talking about and that I have been talking about from the beginning. Every single conversation that I have had is about you being able to access the space of your being. But we have no cognitive understanding of the space of our being. In fact, when you're truly being you, it doesn't feel like anything. It feels like nothing. Have you ever had a, a space where you're like, wow, I have no idea who I am? <laughs> for people in class, they're like, uh, yeah, for the last three days. <laughs> for the rest of you, tap into them if you want to, if you dare. If you dare to be that undefined. But, ooh, sorry, just look at the camera. Fashion is so important. <laughs> when you're truly being you, it feels like nothing. And it's so weird. And the first time I experienced it, I was like, what is wrong? And I was grateful. I was talking to my friend Gary, and I said, Gary, he said, how are you doing? Because I was in a pile of poo. You ever get in a pile of poo? How many of you get in a pile of poo so you know who you are? <laughs> because you know who you are when you're in the pile of poo. You know that energy. We've all been there, done that so many hundreds of thousands of billions of times. Okay? And you know who you are when you're getting out of it. And you know who you are once you've just popped out of it for a moment. You know that glorious popping sound your head makes when it comes out of your butt? You know that <laughs> that I'm talking about? Where you're like, whoo -hoo -hoo! It's so wonderful. But then after you be that for like, I don't know, a few hours or a day, you're like, Okay, I don't know how to be this. I don't know, because as soon as you become it, you're so undefined, you don't have a reference point for you anymore. Okay? You're so undefined, you don't have a reference point for you anymore. And so what happens is then you go to create crap so that you can go back to that place where you know who you are. So everywhere you've defined that you know who you are when you're in the crap, when you're in the suffering, and everywhere you bought that from your mom and dad and other wonderful people who didn't have the tools that you may have, that you now have, actually. Will you please, everything you've done to buy that and everything you've done to defend that and make it real and avoid the space that you know that nobody else does, will you please destroy and uncreate all that? Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. By the way, my hands just move when the energy moves, so... Sorry, or not. It's no longer a judgeable offense. I guess I'm okay. Oh, I feel like I knocked out the whole world. It'd be interesting if some of you, like after this, leave your house and see if everybody is sleeping. You know, like one of those movies, you know, where you're like, oh my God, they're all sleeping. What happened? You know, kind of like a pre-zombie movie sort of thing. But I mean, let's face it. We've been living through the zombie apocalypse. Haven't we? I mean, really, like, Anyway, that's just my personal point of view. Interesting point of view, just to clarify. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so, if you no longer have to have a wall or barrier up to anyone or anything, you truly get to perceive everything. And you also truly get to perceive and receive and know the gift of you. Because the gift of you is when you don't have to have a wall or barrier because the gift of you is that you are an infinite being. Think of infinite for a moment. You can't think of it, actually. Notice how you go to think of it and you're like, look, look, look. Yeah, infinite, as big as the universe. What? That's weird. Yeah, I know, but it's you. You have this body inside of you, okay? Because if you go to expand out, like, I don't know, 10 miles, 100,000 miles, whatever, wherever you go, there you are. This body is inside of you. That being requires space in order to access everything it's capable of. Every judgment we have of us limits the space we have available. Every judgment we try to have of somebody else, because we're not good at it, contracts the space we have available. Every wrongness of us contracts the space. But every time you're joyful, every time you laugh, every time you look in the mirror and love that son of a bitch looking back at you, <laughs> it's just like, wow, you're so wonderful. I just want to reach in the mirror and cuddle you, and you're like, oh, you're so wonderful. <laughs> you give yourself more space. Laughter creates far more change and far more possibilities than tears. What if it's time for us 
to get over the judgment of us, to get over being serious, to recognize that everything we thought was a wrongness is actually a strongness, and actually to go, you know what? I'm going to have the world and the reality I know is possible that nobody else does. You know is possible that nobody else does, that nobody has ever asked of you. What do you know is possible that nobody else does, that nobody has ever asked you or asked of you? I'm asking. I'm asking you to know that you know. I'm asking you to follow that knowing. I'm asking you to allow that knowing to guide you to whatever is truly possible for you beyond this reality and all of its limitations. So what energy, space, consciousness, and choice beyond this reality can you and your body be? To perceive, know, be, and receive everything that is truly possible for you and us beyond this reality. Everything that doesn't allow that, will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. <laughs> I would like to do something with you that... And you can close your eyes if you want. And what I'd like you to do is, if you would, lower the walls and barriers and just let it in. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. But 22 years ago, I found that I had an energetic capacity that would allow me to contribute to individuals and groups and actually found that it would contribute, could contribute to people around the world in creating more of an opening for that space. And you don't have to keep your eyes closed. I don't care. Some people receive more with their eyes closed. I was just wondering how sweaty I'm being. <laughs> Pretty sweaty, probably. So what I'd like to do, I don't care. Shit, I sweat. There you go. Deal with that. <laughs> That's one of the things a lot of people would be like, T-Rex arms. I'm going to do a session with T-Rex arms. Because I sweat. I'm like, I sweat. Hello. So good. <laughs> Just to clarify, I sweat, but I also wear deodorant. Thank you. Okay, because you ever had an overarm hug from somebody who doesn't wear deodorant? Woo! Woo! You're wearing somebody else's stink all day long. Woo! Woo, baby. Damn. Now, for people who don't wear deodorant, some of them just went into judgment themselves. Could you feel it? Like, what is that weird? That was supposed to be funny. It was funny, and then, ooh. <laughs> We're so good. Everything that brought up or let down, whether you wear the deodorant or you don't, you sweat or you don't, you got some way to take a point of view with everything anybody says anywhere ever. Will you rescind your vote cricket, reclaim renounce denounce, destroy and uncreate all that shit, please? And give up needing to be right or wrong. Times a gazillion, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, povats, and beyonds. I say again, you can go to theclearingstatement.com if you would like an explanation of the clearing statement. Okay, so this energy, uh, or space, or whatever the heck it is, I call it ESB, energetic synthesis of being, or ESC, energetic synthesis of communion. And all I'm looking to do is, I think, knock off some of the chunks of the wrongness of you, but also where you use that to enforce the separation of you from you as you enforce the separation of you from others. Oi. And I do mean oi. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Now, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing, by the way. I mean, I do. I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. In other words, I totally know what I'm doing, but I have no idea how to define what I'm doing. And what I'm hoping is that some of you out there, even those of you who are like, oh my God, energy, I don't get energy, I don't understand it. There's no way you can't not, you can't not get energy. Did I say that right? Yeah. All of us get energy. I can explain that to you in a class sometime. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. And if you just want to look at me and go, look at that weirdo. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. 
I've lately resorted to doing more things to get judged. <laughs> Cha-ching. Cha-ching. <laughs> For every judgment you're willing to receive and not reject. $5,000 more that year. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. That is the one thing. When we got that information, it was like, it was over 20 years ago that Gary and I found this because we were talking to people about judgment. They're like, no, it's so big. It's so strong. We are weak and it is strong. I'm like, the judgments are not Jesus, okay? You know that song? Yes, Jesus loves me. We are weak and he is strong. I don't like it either. And Jesus is wherever Jesus is going, Jesus Christ, what these fuckers? <laughs> Try to empower them and fuckers. <laughs> Don't get me started on Yahweh and Muhammad. <laughs> I like that. You can feel people's sphincters pucker around the world. They're like, what's he going to say? Nothing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why don't they do like Yahweh, Shahweh, or, you know? <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to say the name. Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing my book is not called Be Jew, Change the World. Because <laughs> clearly I do not get it. Now, here's the thing with all of this. Though you may not think so, you can be any religion and do access. I know it's weird, okay? Or you can be no religion. Okay, here's the definition of consciousness. For everyone and everything exists and no one and nothing is judged. There's no exclusion, there's no separation. Will you allow more space, my beautiful friends, and will you allow this? And I, I hope you're perceiving it, but you don't actually have to perceive it. Like, you don't have to even feel it, which is weird. You're like, but if I don't feel it, how do I know it's working? Well, I don't feel anything right now. I've got a sense of space and space shifting. And when I do sessions, and I've done hundreds of thousands of them, literally, um, I don't feel I just, there's these subtle shifts that are sometimes huge shifts, but it's like the subtlety of space. It's kind of like being in a dream where you're, or a movie where you're like playing with these energies. I don't know, okay. I'm trying to explain something that I cannot explain clearly. <laughs> but the only reason I do that is because if you, if you, like, if you don't reject it, actually, even if you do reject it, it'll still work. But if you don't reject it, you can, you can add this sort of flavor of energy, this space to your energetic toolbox. You can add it to your experience of being alive. All of this is about what can you add to your experience of being alive? What can you add to your experience of being alive? What can you add to your experience of being alive? What can you add to your experience of being alive? What can you add to your experience of being alive? What else can you add to your experience of being alive? And is now the space. Now is the space, my beautiful friends. For the awareness you have to truly be. For the kindness you are to emerge. For the joy you are to be unsuppressed and thrive, for the abundance you are to be, for the gift you are to be known to thee, and for our world to finally be a world which encompasses all possibilities and change and goes beyond polarity and needing to keep things the same to prove they are the same thing tomorrow as they were today and yesterday. Now is the space, 
my beautiful friends. Can we ask for that, please? And also the space for your entire being to be and have permission and freedom to thrive. We're going to do something called a 12, just because I wasn't weird enough already. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm just going to ask you to gather the energy. I'm going to count to 12, and then let's explode it around the friggin' planet. And maybe beyond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 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 Now, as if we weren't weird enough, we're going to do thirty through something. I don't know the something until I get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. We're going to do something called a 10. A 10 is a photon wavelength. Photons can either be a wave or a particle, which is where you slice up the wave and create the separation. So basically, it can either be the ocean or the drop. The photon wavelength returns everything to the awareness of it being the ocean and the drop simultaneously. On 10. So I'd like you to gather the photon wavelength energy into your body. And I almost hate to do this because it sounds so friggin' significant. I apologize. It's really wonderful, though. Ask for that. And on 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Wow. It's interesting because most people who create a day like this create the day to try to get more followers to their platform. That's why they do it. That's why they do it. Some people create a day to try to create a movement and a change in the world. That is what this day is for me and for our entire group of idiots that have worked on it. And I, I am, you know, I'm an idiot also, okay. But we recognize. When you're willing to go, oh, it's a conglomeration of idiots, it's so freeing. Because you're like, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that got done, that didn't get done, whatever. It's like, it's all okay. <laughs> Even when you really like to be wrong, it's tough to make yourself wrong when you're in a conglomeration of idiots, okay? We're used to being the lone idiot. It's wonderful when you can find a conglomeration of them. <laughs> And it's a way of lightening things, going beyond judgment. But for all of us, this day is about what tsunami of being can we unleash into our world. So if it were about getting more followers to access, oh, by the way, access doesn't do followers. We're really bad at followers. And for me personally, it's like, I think a lot of you guys are probably the same way. Don't you hate followers? Are there any more boring people on the planet? I think not, okay? (laughs) What I'd like to do is I'd like to empower an entire world of leaders, okay? A leader is someone who knows where they can go and need to go, and it doesn't matter if anybody else gets it or anybody else comes along. A true leader does not require followers. A true leader chooses according to what they know and what the world is asking for. So, whoa. Anybody else notice a different space? Is it kind of beautiful? When something is beautiful, please acknowledge it because part of what will open up for you as you go on this journey of exploring you is the beauty that has been all around you all the time. And it will be so dynamic that you will wonder how you missed it for so long. But now is the space, my beautiful friends, for you to embrace the being you truly be, to embrace the gift of the being you truly be, and to embrace the communion and connection with all of us and the planet and every molecule of consciousness to create the world of possibilities we are here to create. Thank you.